Alright, hi YouTube, this is the President Michael back with an autograph mail day video. And I have um, some purchases and a TTM to show you. First TTM, this is from uh, Ivy Austin, actress, voice actress, singer, especially known for doing voices on Sesame Street. She sent me first a 8x10 photo, which is really cool. Really nice. Really like it. Then she sent two business cards. Awesome. And then the cardboard she sent to protect the photos and the business card. She wrote a nice letter on it and signed it on the bottom. Awesome. Next purchase, and this only cost me 99 cents shipped, and there's multiple copies of this on there. Um, and the person who, well, it came directly from the um, author himself, it cost 272 of them to send it. So basically, they lost money, but somehow they must make money by doing this. But this is HUD Homes Half Off, a simple step-by-step -step detail guide for buying HUD Homes at 50, 40, and even 30 percent of value in today's market. Mm, we'll see about that. But um, it is written by Larry Goins. Like I said, if you look this book up on eBay, you'll find it there for 99 cents. You can buy one, you get it signed. If you collect signed books and you don't care, it's signed right here. And I sent a uh, disc and some other stuff. Alright, um, here's another purchase. This is Daryl Hamilton. This is a 90 um, flare, and this is supposed to be a certificate of authenticity. It's supposed to be uh, from a lot that PSA guaranteed, but I don't know. I'm pretty confident the autograph is real, because I did compare it to, to others. Uh, he, unfortunately, uh, recently passed away, if I remember correctly. His wife shot him to death, and then she killed herself. And it really reminds me of the actor Phil Hartman back in... 98 I think his wife shot him when he was sleeping and then she killed herself then that means their um, children were left with no parents and I think uh, Daryl Hamilton had children too I'm not sure if he had it with the, the wife that killed him or a previous marriage but it's just a shame it didn't, really, it didn't have to be but I'm happy I got his autograph and finally um, I hope th these next ones aren't too boring for um, non-political collectors, but I got some more political autographs. Most of them were 99 cents, except a couple were like 299 and 333. This is um, John Dalton, former governor of Virginia. Signed in this card. Dale Bumpers, he was the governor of Arkansas and U.S. Senator from Arkansas. Most of these guys I have uh, and this group are deceased. Few of them are still alive, like this one. Uh, Mills Godwin, he was the former governor of Virginia. He was elected a, as a Democrat, and then he was elected a second time around as a Republican. And he was the first governor to be governor from two different parties. And they are non consecutive terms, too. This is Jay Millard Taws. I'm saying right, he's the former governor of Maryland. Awesome. Next one is Linwood Lynn Wood Holton, former governor of Virginia. And if I remember correctly, he's the oldest former living governor of Virginia. I think he's in like around ninety-three. William Scott, he's a former um, United States Senator from Virginia. And I think he was the first Republican Senator from Virginia since Reconstruction. And one of those governors I showed you was the first uh, Republican governor since Reconstruction, too. Oh, this is awesome. This is a signed letter from Mastin O'Neill, dated January 10th, 1967. He was a member of Congress.
And the last one, this is really cool. This is Thomas Cullen. He was, oh wait a minute. Now Manson O'Neill, I forgot to tell you, he served in the 2nd District of Georgia. Now Thomas Cullen was 4th District, New York. This letter is from January 16, 1937. Now, uh, Thomas Cullen passed away in 1944, so there's probably not a whole bunch of autographs out there of him. But this is a letter that he signed in 1937. Signed right there. Okay, uh, that's it. Any comments or questions um, about any of this stuff, let me know. Like I always say in all my other videos, I'm always happy to answer any questions. Let me step away a little bit. I have to be careful my dog's down here. I don't want to step on it by accident. But um, if you have any comments or questions, put them below. Hopefully, I'll be able to do a video again soon. Actually, didn't expect to uh, be doing a video right away again. That would be a few days. But I got this all this stuff in today. Um, what is today? July the 6th. So... I knew one sooner than I thought. But um, hopefully I can get back going on um, sending some more TTMs out. Been a little bit slower with that. And I'm just rambling on, um, wasting all your time. But, oh, I might do some um, uh, blasts on the past videos. I used to do them in, like, my first year of starting doing this. I used to do them quite regularly, showing some of the old stuff I got in the past. But I was thinking I might do it again. Because I, got, I, I have gotten a lot of cool stuff before I started doing videos. Pretty much when I started doing videos, everything I've gotten in during that time, and I started like October, I think, of 2012, if you've seen. I did get a lot of stuff in before that, but you know, I've been collecting for a hell of a long time. More years than I care to admit. So I might start doing some of the blasts from the past. If there's maybe a certain area you might want uh, me to show you first, um, let me know. I'll probably mainly do like actors and actresses, but I might do some political stuff, maybe some sports stuff, I don't know. It all depends on um, what I find that I think you might think is interesting. Anyways, that's it. Um, let me make sure. Yep, that's it. Oh, wait, actually, one more thing. And I should and I keep saying one more thing, I'm sorry about that. I should open this on air, but I didn't. I've been doing um, opening uh, packs for the Dollar Tree. Well, I finally picked up, found a packs at Walmart. Uh, they normally don't sell individual packs anymore. A lot of times, normally it's like the bigger ones, or it's going to be in the boxes, which is more expensive. They finally had some individual packs for dollar ninety eight, and this is uh, tops. And I think it's um, let me make sure, yeah, twenty fifteen already. But um, here's some of the ones I got, like Chris Sale, uh, Danny Duffy, Yasmani Thomas. Um, Liz Elverto, uh, Liz of Liz Elverto Benilia. Oh, and I hope everybody celebrated on the first and had a great holiday for um, Bobby Benilia Day. If you don't know what I mean, look it up. You'll see why that's basically designated as Bobby Benilia Day. Oh, a Texas Ranger card. A uh, Kyle Laus. This is cool. It's one of the little bit more shinier ones. Refractors, it might be called. Uh, Ender and Serarti. Uh, good, great. This is cool. Ted Williams. One of the greatest plays ever. And sadly, an autograph I don't have. Don't know if I'll ever get it because it's pretty expensive now. And his story after his death of how his body was handled is really um, kind of gruesome. Big dispute between his son and his daughter about where he wanted to get buried and all. Son ended up winning. I guess he had his, his father's body, well, his head cut off and his head frozen. So maybe in the future he could be brought back to life. And I don't think his son was too nice to him. And his son actually played minor league baseball. I tried to get his son's autograph, didn't have any luck. You know, it's one of those things. Uh, Jake Diekman. 
Danny Farquhar. Um, Julio Almonte. And Marco Scutero. All right. Now I'm finally done. If you have any comments or questions, put them below. I'm always happy to answer questions. And I look forward to talking to you again later. Bye, YouTube. Bye.